Hey everybody, it's Matthew, and in this tutorial, I'm going to spend some time showing you how to use Office 365 and Gmail, uh, the web-based versions of those, to create templates in your accounts for your email so that you can add reoccurring emails, like uh, setting up a listing appointment or a buyer counseling session or post ratification or whatever it is in the stage of the transaction that you find you're doing the same type of email over and over, find it useful to have the same content in there and um, to be able to just click and send uh, on a routine basis. Make sure that I get it done because it's already pre-done and it's easy, but also have a consistent message for everyone where I don't forget anything. So uh, anyways, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Let's jump right in. All right, so here I am in Gmail, and the first thing we're gonna do is actually turn on the templates function. And so I'm gonna go over here to settings, click on settings, click on see all settings. Then I'm gonna go over to advanced, and then you'll see there's a list of features under advanced that you'll wanna turn on. In this case, and for this purposes, we're only gonna turn on the template. So we're gonna click enable there, and then you'll click on save changes, and now you are going to go to compose. And so compose is where we're going to find the options to insert templates. So here I have my uh, email is set up and my signature line is already there, which was also set up in, uh, in the settings. I'm going to go click on these three upside down ellipses. And then I'm going to click on templates. Now you'll see that I already have some templates here. And so I'm, let's say I'm going to go to a, uh, I have a listing coming up. I can click on seller pre-listing. And you'll see here that I've got all the things set up here for this, this, this um, templated email to get ready for the listing. Now, when I go to create a, a template, I'm going to go over here and click on the three ellipses at the bottom, go to templates, and whatever I have added here. So I'm going to start creating an email. And I go, this is a pretty good email. I want to use this one in the future. I'm going to go ahead and uh, type it all out in the compose window then click on the ellipses, go to templates, go over here to save draft as a template. And when I click on that, it's gonna let me click on as a new template. When I click there, it's gonna say, uh, what, what do you know wanna name this template? And I'm gonna call this um, Okay, I'm gonna hit save. And now in the future, when I want to go compose an email, and I want to send a one day code, I can now go over here again to the three ellipses, uh, three dots, which make the ellipses, go to templates, search through my list of codes. In this case, I'm going with the central one day code. And now I can go ahead and give the property, property address, the, who the code is issued to, the code number, the date, and then I have instructions on how to use it. Now, there's a better way to do this with Centra Connect, but this is a good um, example for that code. So that's it for Gmail. For templates, it's it's very easy as well. There's no advanced feature to turn on. It's already built in there. Uh, when I go to uh, new message, I'm going to start a new message here. You can see down here that I also have three dots. And so I have the send, discard, these attachments. I have the three dots. I click here, and I can go to my templates. My templates um, have whatever. They already have some default, you know, asking people to go to lunch or running late or whatever. I'm gonna click on templates in this little plus sign. I'm gonna add one there. I'm gonna copy in the email and then hit save. And now you can see that I have the reply later. Uh, I'll reply later, running late lunch, and now I've got this code. And so in the future, when I wanna add that, I'm just gonna go and hover and go click on the body of my email click on the three little dots there, go to my templates, and then just click on the email and it'll insert it in the, um, the window. And now I can just go ahead and hit, I'll put a subject line in here in two, and then I'll hit send. So that's it. That's very simply how we create templates in both Gmail and Outlook. And um, always look out on my website. I have some sample email templates for you to play with and look at. And um, uh, that's it. Thanks.